So, if you're only just joining us, where have you been? <clears throat> it's been quite a morning. Uh, Michael Bourgain, Chris Hoy, Jason Kenny, Maximilian Levy, uh, Kanozari Watanabe, and Simon Val Van Venthoven. Veldhoven, uh, they, excuse me, uh, <clears throat> I'm carrying a bit of a jazz club throat today. Uh, but there we go. Hopefully I'm not going to pass it on to Mr. Tony Gibb. Uh, men's Kieran, it is the final, it's the battle for the medals. <clears throat> and a little bit of bragging rights, and possibly a bit more than that, to be honest, because it's about form leading up to the Olympics, and Hoy and Kenny want to beat each other like nobody else. Well, it's an Olympic event, and uh, we saw in the sprint, Jason Kenny has... I, I guess you'd say Jason Kenny's just got the edge over Sir Chris Hoy in the selection for the uh, men's sprint. But uh, Sir Chris won the London round of the World Cup. And uh, I'm sure they'll be uh, oh, ringing taking, of hands, taking numbers and things, and uh, <coughs> doing all sorts of tests between now and the Olympics. Chris Hoy, so Chris Hoy's just got that bit of momentum behind him, I suppose. I think, well, yeah, I know, but uh, you know, the one story has to be written. Uh, but is there a new chapter to be opened up for Kenny? I don't know. It's it's a really hard one to to take, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, Chris Hoy, there by merit if he gets it, but uh, it, I would not be a selector. To be honest, there should be a hard and fast kind of runoff between the pair of them, I think. Uh, no matter what their form, just to quieten things down. But that speculation is going to run on for a long, long time. Uh, won't be tired anyone who has to make that decision because there's going to be somebody and plenty of fans upset as well, however it goes. Here we go then. Hoy, Kenny, Borgain, uh, Van Velthoven, Max Levy and Tanani. Carlton, whatever happens in this race, please don't hit me. I'll try my best. So GB, two representatives here, uh, Chris Hoy, Sir Chris Hoy, you will notice uh, at the back. Yes, he's all black boots, he's uh, just backing up a little bit, and there, Levy from Germany in the traditional white kit. And uh, Sir Chris at the back, you'll notice him, he's the slightly bigger of the two uh, Great Britain drivers with the flatter back. Van Velthoven carrying a yellow card. He took a tumble earlier on. It was his own fault. Uh, drifted in, I think it was to Canalon, the Venezuelan, which uh, forced a restart of the opening heat. Uh, that upset Watanabe, so hence uh, he's picking up a yellow card. Kenny there in uh, third place at the moment for Great Britain. Also Close on the yellow. Yep. Closely followed by Mikhail Bogart in fourth place in the dark blue of France with the Japanese rider. Watanabe. Uh, this is a very, very high quality final. This. Absolutely, and watch out for Chris Hoy. So Chris Hoy, in my opinion, will make the big run with about two laps to go around the outside. Well, six laps to go right now. So uh, in a short while, the Derny will be coming off. And then with two and a half laps remaining, it will be hell for leather. There is Watanabe. Do not discount him at all. He had a terrific run to get into this. So qualified cleanly as well, didn't bother with the refer charges. And Japan have a habit of really getting themselves into form at exactly the right time in Olympic year. Chris Hoy, of course, thinking about the Olympics and selection, but uh, that'll be the farthest thing from his mind right now. He glances over the track just to get a measure of where he's perhaps going to mark up his advance. He's at the back at the moment. <coughs> Jason Kenny running in third place, uh, just behind the big figure of Bergain here and uh, the Kiwi of Veltoven, uh, uh, Max Levy also in the frame and Chris Hoy just starts to stalk here a big cheer for Van Veldhoven here has a look uh, they know that Chris is going to come and here he is just starts to turn on the taps right now he's in fourth place Kenny on the inside of him right now big check up from Max Levy Max Levy very aware that Van Veldhoven might make the jump and Levy and Veldhoven one and two right now Kenny and Hoy uh, also just squaring up to each other maybe taking too much vision here uh, Kenny has taken too much and he's just let them go here have they escaped Levy picks it up and races away with Van Veldhoven uh, through the line they go and the bell rings out and Hoy just tries to drift up oh but the German's got this one, is he the back, is he? Oh, time to lay it down, and Kenny does so. Hoy oh, goes on the inside, unbelievable boy by Hoy. Oh, what a move that was by Hoy, but I think he lost out of it. No, he didn't, he gets it. Phenomenal piece of strategy, it's gonna have to be a camera. They've called it as Hoy Levy, but Veltoven and Kenny in fourth. But boy, oh boy, what a move that was by Hoy. If that sticks, that was amazing. Sorry, I'm just a little bit speechless at that. Chris Hoy was all but out of that with 50 metres to go. And an absolutely oh. amazing move got him through the middle of the bunch. I can't wait to see that again. Uh, the photo's been confirmed. I need to see the commissaires and what they're doing. GB are quietly confident that they've got that, but not so quietly. 
but Sir Chris Hoy takes the Kieran yet again. And, uh, well, really, really want to see the replay of that. That was simply amazing. This is going to be a clip that you will see again and again and again. Strategy-wise, talk about leaving it late. How cool is that man? That was outstanding. I mean, Jason Kenny there did Sir Chris Hoy absolutely no favours whatsoever. It's yeah. good. It's Chris okay. Hoy is going to take it here. Jason Kenny oh. did Sir Chris Hoy absolutely no favours at all. No, there. they he were looking busy over his shoulder, other, looking yeah. over his shoulder, looking over his shoulder. Just let the gap go and go and go and go and go. And Sir Chris Hoy had to do so much work. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's been declared he is world champion yet again. Phenomenal performance. Mr. Mr. Director, please, can we have a replay? <laughs> oh, you're going to see <laughs> of it, quite worry. a lot of this event. Please. Yes, I think they were, they're, they're just waiting for the thumbs up of all positions. Uh, Here we go. Right, watch this. Well, Chris Hoyt at this at this point is, you know, in a box, out of it. You're thinking he's got absolutely nowhere to go. Dives down the inside, and um, you're thinking he's got nowhere to go, nowhere to go, nowhere to go, nowhere to go. Van Velteven just opens the door, and there you go, pops out. Comes around Levy, absolutely astonishing riding. Look at this, Look, nowhere to go. He's not even in the first three at this point. Dives up the inside, holds it, holds it out. Where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? Van Velteven moves, out I come. I'm coming out, right around Levy, on the line. Whoa. You know what? Without the respect that Chris Hoy engenders, I don't think he'd have been given room there. Oh, wow, I, I, I do. Unbelievable. I, I, I think Unbelievable. Van Velteven thought, well, this guy on my inside is not going to get anywhere near me here. Uh, I'm going to pump up because I want a medal. He hung on for bronze, but uh, Levy there will wow. be uh, a little bit disappointed. An absolute fantastic ride. You know, it's the sort of thing that just registers with selectors, this kind of behaviour. Absolutely amazing. A man with the supreme bike handling skills and the power to deliver those skills. Just amazing. What can you say that hasn't already been said about Sir Chris Hoy? What do they do for him next? <laughs> Lord Hoy. <laughs> 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 Who knows? The bid starts here. Jedi Master. <laughs> oh, dear.